really happy about our win. And I thought we did a great, we played a great defensive game because we have figured out, I think we figured out finally that we're not a very good offensive team. Um, and, and we played, we did a great job defensively. Um, and I think we, and it's, it's really, it's really cool to see that we um, improved on Saturday's game. And that it wasn't just a one-shot senior emotional win on Saturday, but we got better. And I think even played better tonight. So, and we played tough. Like we've shown more to we, we were a tougher team tonight than we've been in the past. So, um, so these guys get a ton of credit for number one, not giving up, not 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 quitting on the season when we had three wins, um, and still fighting out the rest of the, still com competing until the end of the year. So, um, but just a, a great defensive game. We did. I, thought, I felt like we just really did a good job of, of forcing, maybe forcing people to shoot the ball for them that we wanted them to shoot, and, and did, for the most part, allowing. I don't know if allowing is the right word, but um, the shots that they took were a, lot, a big percentage of them were shots that we kind of wanted them to take. So, what's up? Uncomfortable shots, yeah, good, thank you. <laughs> Future English teacher, so <laughs> straighten me out there. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, Dan walked in here and said, wow, two-game winning streak, I don't even want to do. I mean, that's, but, I mean it sounds, we can laugh about it now, but I mean, that's, that's exactly what, this time of year when you guys get your backs against the wall, that's exactly what, what you need. And like I said a couple games ago, it seems like your team, you know, plays you know, their best when they know the stakes are on the line and, and they're playing a team tied for the top of the league. I mean, that's that's what you want. You don't want them just to come in before the game, you know, throwing the, you know, the white flag, so to speak. You want them coming out fighting like they did. Well, you do want them to fight when the backs are against the wall, but we'd rather be 25 than the <laughs> other way around. But, I mean, so, you know, place you're in. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And the, the locker room today, even after LIU um, and – that it might just be me and not them, but I felt like yeah, even after LIU we won, but it, it wasn't the same. Tonight in the locker rooms, how old were you we supposed to feel after the <coughs> I don't know if Saturday thought of it. You know, like I said, that could just be me and you know, the, the, the drain of losing a ton of games, but today they were in the locker room. It was a great, great feeling. As we know we beat a very we beat a first place team and we played a great uh, tough team game. Um, neither, neither team shot exceptionally well, you know, both under 40%. But it, without looking at the stats and you're just strictly watching the game, it seemed like your shots came a little bit easier. Like, and you uh, touched on that a little bit. It seemed like your guys' shots came more in from the shots you wanted as opposed to theirs, which were either rushed or you had somebody in their face. Or when they did get an opening, it was like, oh, I'm open. and they thought about too much rather than just shooting the ball. I mean, that's exactly what you want you know, your defense to do, and they did a good job tonight. Yeah, we did make them uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, the, the, some of those open shots were by people that didn't really want to shoot the ball as well as much. And then we also, it's something that we've struggled with all season, but we got fortunate, maybe not fortunate, not, like, we had two you know, huge possessions in those last six or seven minutes, but the shot clock right now, when Aisha hit that, a uh, really <laughs> tough shot, and then Lex hit that three. That and being able to, like, it's one thing to, to run the clock down, and, you know, trying to use 30 seconds and, and really just shortening the game up, which everybody around here knows that we don't do that. But <laughs> um, when you're able to finish that, either with you know, that shot, that shot, or Samaya's a couple of offensive rebounds that, that buys you, uh, you know, another really, buys you another possession. But those are huge plays when you are forced to try and you know, really shorten the game and get to the end of the game that way. And then the free throws. We made free throws tonight. Mm -hmm. And that's that's cost us probably two wins, three wins in conference, maybe more. You know, it really got us a win tonight because we made our free throws down the stretch. I thought the um, really the first play of the game <clears throat> was very indicative of what 
of how your team played the rest of the game. I mean, Lex comes in, girl thought, thinks she has a tip, she comes in, steals it right down for a lip four seconds into the game. Um, that to me was one of the, I mean, there's a lot of differences, you know, in the game, but I thought your overall hustle, you know, in, in um, beating them to the ball, whether it be, like you said, I think they started the game on the offensive boards really well. Yes. They had nine at, at half, I mean, you only allowed them five after the second half, but it, it seemed like a lot less than that. But you guys, I just thought that was very, um, it kind of set the tone, um, you know, for the game, you know, with, with the overall hustle. I mean, and that's, that's what you want. I don't know if, I mean, I guess this is for Lex, I guess. I, um, did you know that that's who they were tapping it to, or did you just, was it just because she was so casual about going to get it that you were able to step in there? Well, I think our coaches do a great job of scouting, watching film, and kind of knowing where they want to tip the ball to and who they want to tip the ball to, um, and just their um, tendencies. So I think it's a mixture of, you know, she, she thought, oh, my, my teammate's taller, we're going to get this tip, I'm going to grab it, we're going to score. And I think lately our team has been very um, aggressive, more aggressive with going after loose balls, getting rebounds, boxing out, and um, just being tough. And um, that's something we talk about every day in the <coughs> locker room, and I think we're really starting to improve on that. So I think it's a mixture of our coaches just doing their job and doing a great job and our team really buying into it. Misha, um, towards the end of the first half there, and a little bit of the second half with Lex, you know, on the uh, on the bench there, um, you did a good job of keeping keeping your team moving <coughs> and whatnot, and having the ball in your hands there. You made, you know, even before your shot clock beating, you know, you you able to get penetrated into the lane and were able to, you know, keep 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 your team score and keep you know keep um, keep them from gaining any ground. Uh, talk about you know what it means to have the ball in your hands, knowing um, you know that you're, you're counted upon to be the top scorer with Lex out. You know at that point in time. Um, mostly, I'm supposed to just take care of the ball. Uh, we talk about that all the time. Just just take care of the ball, make smart decisions. So I think it was a good call by our coaches and some like the players and everything to like slow it down instead of rushing everything. As, like Joe, Coach Joe said, uh, we started to run a lot of time off the shot clock, and we were scoring probably with like 10 or less on it. But, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> so I think that was a good call by our coaches <coughs> to slow it down and keep us calm and um, just help us keep the lead up. And, you know, once it gets to that point where we have to score, you just you just got to go in hard. Um. Joe, uh, Harrington started off the game looking like she was going to be unstoppable. Ten points at the half. She didn't take a single shot in the second half. Um, and she, you know, she made, only made one point and that came on a free throw. I mean, was that them not getting, getting the ball into her or was that you guys doing something different to keep them from getting the ball into her? Because it just seemed like they, like, and I know you, you, you kind of hit on it, your defense had a couple of their players settling for shots and it just seemed, it didn't seem like they just, Went, completely went away from her. They might, they might have a better answer because they were on the floor, but or you I know, didn't know some, <laughs> No, we, we, uh, I think our post players did a better job of. I, our post players did a better job. So, and again, coaches, we say the same types of things all the time about you know, not getting caught behind, anticipating. That was one of the main keys in, the, in our locker room at halftime was to, um, you know, defend. Get a, get a hand and foot in front of them to contest the pass, not letting them step in, be physical early because she does a great job of getting early position. Um, but those are things that coaches say during the week as you're prepping for the game tomorrow, Sunday <laughs> while you're prepping for the game today. Um, I think it's more, you know, it, it was a key in the, in the locker room, but I don't know that they, we say it all the time, so I don't know if they listen to them. I feel like it, it might have come more from these guys in the locker room and then the really in communication on the floor because it's really it's you know, players that, and today was the best. I think our post have defended in a long, long time. Um, I mean, I can touch on it a little bit. I think our post really took pride in playing defense today. Um, she did start to go off in the first half, but I do think they took it upon themselves to really shut her down 
um, play player personnel a lot better and just box out. I think a lot of it came off of tough box out plays that um, she just couldn't get a hand on in the second half. And um, uh, Sydney Smith, she did really, really well rebounding today. And, you know, our posts, they work so hard down there all the time. And I just feel like they did their job today and they earned the win. Um, you know, four, four, four games left to, um, obviously you don't want to rely on the teams ahead of you to get knocked off. You want to do your part. You know, you figure if you win the next four, get the eight wins the way this league's been going. But, I mean, you might, you just want to win your four games and then let everything else take care of itself. And, you know, it seems like um, hopefully your team can, can carry over, you know, their hustle and their all out, everything that's been going right the last two games, um, you know, as you get right ahead on, ready for the next three games. Um, yeah, we want to win. We, we need to win the next four. I mean, and they're tough. We do today, so it's a first place team. LIU, we know if we lost LIU, our season's over. If we lose today, we have a the tiniest breathing room possible. I think we could get in if we lose one more game, but we got to go to Central, who was in first place before today. We have to go on the road to Robert Morris, who's in first place. We have to go on the road to St. Francis, who's kind of beat us up and won three or four straight. And so we have those are playoff games. Those are teams that are tough. That are at the top of the conference anyway, um, and then obviously we, we lost to Mount St. Mary's already, so they're, we look at it as four playoff games. We lose one of them, we're probably done for the year, and it just, it, there's, we got to play with that type of sense of urgency, and hopefully, um, you know, the, the greatest thing about this team is the, it, you know, is the chemistry that they've had all year, but that's one, but the greatest part is that we're sitting in this position with two weeks left in the season, um, and they didn't quit and give up. We could have been done already, and we're fighting to continue the season on. Uh, we've had so many breaks and so many winnable games that we have lost. I mean, so many of them that have been close. They've been really heartbreaking. They've built all through the year. Uh, would have been really, really. I don't know how many teams we would have would be in this position now, being able to knock off one of the top teams in the league after what we've been through. Like most most teams would crack. And, and, uh, and so we, we still got a chance, and they know that. They, 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 we know it, and we know every game could be really – not our last because we got four left, but they want to keep playing. So they want five. Um, we want these next four. We want to go in the playoffs and get the fifth. And we also know that you know, they, they, we still – there's no reason, you know, we're still planning on winning the championship until the very last, you know, until, we, until we're done, until they tell us that we're done. There's no reason why we can't run the table and get another ring. I know that's been their goal, you know, since July. Um, so we will, we have two weeks left in the season to try and prepare for that. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you.